Welcome to Nav Bytes by Evosoft, where you can learn about Microsoft Dynamics Nav while you are having your morning coffee. Today we are looking at the Warehouse Reclassification Journal. Whenever you are using Advanced Warehousing with Directed Put Away and Pick, your warehouse workers will be sent to a specific location to pick the stock you require, and efficient picking and shipping relies on the system knowing exactly where the stock is at all times. A warehouse, however, is not a static environment. Changing business needs can mean reshuffling and reorganizing within the warehouse. Let us look at an example. Go to an item card. From the item card, go to More Options, Navigate, Warehouse, and Bin Content. This item has just two units in bin W0413. If we move these units in with the others, then we will free the bin for some other stock. When stock is relocated within your warehouse in an ad hoc fashion, Business Central uses the Warehouse Reclassification Journal to move the stock to different bins. The Warehouse Reclass Journal is like the Item Reclass Journal, but adjusts the warehouse entries that apply to advanced warehousing. If you need a document to allow you to plan bulk stock moves, you can use the Movement Worksheet. This is covered in another Navbytes video. Search for the Warehouse Reclass Journal. The location code is set up within the batch. Drill down on the batch and select the one you want. If you need to create a new batch, you can do this from the Warehouse Journal Templates. Select the type of journal you want to make a new batch for, and go to More Options, Navigate, Template, Batches. Then click on New to create the new batch. Here you can add a code name, a description, a location, and a number series if you desire. The batch will then be available for selection. In the Lines section, the registration date is the date the movement is made. This defaults to the work date. If you do not have a number series on your batch, you can enter a manual document number in the Warehouse Document Number field. Then add the item number of the item you want to adjust. You can navigate from here to Bin Contents by going to Item Bin Contents. Next add the From Zone Code and From Bin Code. Then add the To Zone Code and To Bin Code. Next add the quantity you want to move. Repeat this process as many times as you need to to move all the required items. When you have finished entering the lines, click on Process and Register. The stock has now been moved. Thank you for watching. Please go to our website and look out for more Navbytes next time you are having coffee.